Hello, in this video we continue to build our solar heated dry kiln. After we assembled the walls last time, we realized the bigger ones will be hard to move in the back of the yard with just two of us, so we got some help. It wasn't that easy, but we took it slow and got the heavy parts in the back. The base will sit on six concrete blocks that were leveled the days before. We painted the base with some wood stain and put a plastic sheet on top to protect the dryer from moisture coming from the ground. We had some wooden boards we cleaned from the foundation formwork in the front of the yard, so we used some of those for this project. We'll be saving some money by using those instead of OSB panels like we plan to do especially now when the prices for construction materials have gone sky high. Yeah. 
We nailed the bottom plate of the wall to the floor so that we are able to lift it and won't slide off. These nails act like a hinge and we remove them after. We drilled holes on the top side of the wall and used metal rods to attach some braces on the sides. We also used the rope to anchor the wall to the tree just to have some safety in case things got wrong. But it was fine, we managed to raise the wall and nail it in place. The other three walls were easier to place and fix.
For the side walls, we also used some reclaimed wooden boards. It doesn't look too good, but at least we have saved some money. The next step was to close the small wall in front and add doors to the north wall, but the weather changed our plans. So we will continue when the weather is getting warmer in our next episode. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you want to see us doing more stuff. Also leave a comment below if you have any questions or have suggestions. Thank you for watching.